Happy Thursday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about why some people receive from God and some don't. Did you ever notice that? Some people seem to get anything they need and some never get anything they need. There's a reason. I'm going to share that with you today and tell you how you can go in, go from the group who never receives from God to the group who always receives from God. There's a way to do it. I'm all about results. Amen. Glory to God. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. It's a great day for a great day. Huh? I like that. When somebody said that to me, I said, I'm going to say that. It's a great day for a great day. Hallelujah. Say that every day. Say, also say, everything works out for me. We have had some incredible praise reports. Found out yesterday that something had, something had worked out for somebody, an impossible situation, which looked impossible. Looked like it was going to be the end of somebody's career. And I said, it will work out because I declare you have favor. Well, yesterday I ran into this person. It was about somebody in her family. And she was, ah, Pastor Jeff. No, it will work out because everything works out for us. You have favor, and I bound the devil in that whole situation. And guess what? It worked out. And do you know what I said to her? Being the wonderful person that I am, and being so humble, I said, I told you so! I'm real big on that. Believe me, if you hear those words from me, I told you so, you have just received from God. And I tell people that. I told you so. Those are the sweetest words you will ever hear from me. Because that means something really good has happened. And it did. It worked out. All done. All taken care of. We get these situations, folks. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. Incredible healing just took place because this lady and I combined our faith for somebody she had a professional relationship with. She didn't want to lose that person. Her and I prayed over it, spoke over it, locked in, combined our faith, and that person got healed. And that looked like an impossible situation. Nothing is impossible. That's what a prayer partner does. Amen. Consider becoming a partner with this ministry. Amen. Our partners have access to me. Anytime you need me, I am always available to our partners. And our partners know when they call, I answer the phone. You don't go through a switchboard. You don't make an appointment. I answer the phone. And if I'm on the phone with somebody else and can't take your call, I will call you back. Because I love to pray with our partners. And I love praise reports. So make sure when something good happens that you let me know. And I, and I will probably tell you to write it out. Write it out. We're going to start keeping track of these things. We're going to start writing these things out. We'll publish these. Amen. Our partners actually are prayer partners. I believe when you partner with a ministry, you should have access to the minister. And our partners do. Amen. We give away everything. We give away a lot of books. Amen. A lot of these books we give away. And why? Some people, somebody said to me, the, uh, yesterday he said, I've got all your books except one. I said, send me your name and address and I'll put one in the mail for you. 
because they missed out on the last giveaway. Amen. I want you to have all these books. All eight of them. Soon to be nine. Soon to be nine. We have one uh, new book at the publishers right now. Wait till you see this one. This is good. Hey, also, when you do your offerings and donations today, tomorrow is offering day, but a lot of people jump in ahead and they will do it Thursday during the day or Thursday night. Make sure you call me to speak the word for word blessing over your offering. Your blessings are supposed, your offerings are supposed to be blessed with a word for word blessing. And that's what I do. Let's get into this. Why some people receive from God and some don't. Matthew 9, 29. Jesus touched their eyes and said to them, according to your faith, be it unto you. Why some people receive from God and some don't. Let me start off by saying this. It is always a faith issue. Everything is a, I don't pass it to you. I don't know why. I just, I don't always faith. The minute you connect in faith, God moves. If you don't connect in faith, God don't move. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. In other words, without faith, you don't get nothing. But it's easy to get, to receive from God. Everybody goes, oh, Pastor Jim, it's just, oh. No, it's not. It's not. And don't talk like that. Amen. Don't talk like, it's not hard. God has made it easy for us to receive from him. This is the key verse in the Bible, Matthew 9, 29, as to why some people receive from God and some don't. <clears throat> there was a very prominent pastor known all over the country. Huge church. This guy had 20,000 people in his church. Wonderful church. Mary and I went there all the time because we happened to live in that city for a couple of years while we were in Bible college. So we would go over there. Well, this pastor got cancer and died. He died. Now, his mentor happened to be one of the most famous healing evangelists who ever lived. Lived right down the road. He still died. Wonderful faith people in and out of his church all the time. He still died. You've got to ask yourself, why? Why did that man, and he was fairly young, in his 50s. Why did this man die? And so many other people got healed. I mean, people get healed all the time. We've seen people healed off their deathbeds. Hundred, hundreds of people healed. Brain dead people healed. People gasping for breath healed. People, we've had people healed who were taken off of food and water by hospice. Everybody's waiting for them to die. We have had people healed in a, in, a, in, a, in a house full of people, relatives, who had come to watch them die. We've had them healed. Right out from under all those people who came to watch them die. We've had them healed. People with tubes coming out of their head. Totally healed. People with that coronavirus. Some of them dropping their, their oxygen levels, dropping blood clots in their lungs, healed. None of that matters when you connect in faith. None of it matters. But this guy died. And his wife said in a magazine interview, bless her heart, you know, and she's a wonderful person too. But she said she, he died because he saw the other side and he wanted to go there. How nice does that sound? But guess what? She's wrong. She's wrong. 
He didn't die because he saw the other side. He died because there was not enough faith around him to heal him. Even this wonderful healing evangelist couldn't get him healed. He couldn't get himself healed. And why? Why? Because they didn't read the faith book. They should have read my faith book. It's always a faith that Kenneth Copeland would not have died of that. Now that's a fact. He would not have died of that. Creflo Dollar was diagnosed one time with advanced prostate cancer that was in his spine. It was in his bones. That's, folks, that's a death sentence. But he didn't die. Why is that? Faith. Creflo Dollar increased his faith to the point where he connected with God for his healing. They couldn't get him healed either. He couldn't get himself healed. He went into a room and spent two weeks listening to healing messages, reading healing scriptures out loud, confessing healing two solid weeks. And he came out of there healed. Amen. There was a bishop of a huge church. He had the same thing. He didn't tell his church. He found me. Bought me an airplane ticket to come to him. Had me minister in his church. But he really, and he told me, he said, I brought you here because I'm sick. I never told a person, never told a soul in his church. Nobody in his church, as far as I know, ever knows, ever knew, or ever will know, because they'll never know it from me. They'll never know he was sick. But he got healed of that. So did hundreds of people in his church got healed that night I was there. He told his church, I brought Pastor Kibler here. Because there's so much sickness. So much sickness. Yeah? Well, I'll tell you what walked into the building when I walked into that building was faith for healing. We got him healed. Him and his church. Glory to God. Churches are hurting for finances. When I walk into that building, their finances will improve by 35%. I tell pastors, if I show up, 35% is going to be the increase in finances in your church. Why? Because I know how to do it. I know how to do it. And I don't increase the finances of the church by ringing out the people. I increase the finances of a church by increasing the finances of the people. Everybody goes up. The finances of the church go up. How's that? If I want to increase the finances of my church... I will increase the finances of the people in my church. They like that. Faith. Faith. Nothing is impossible to them that believe. Jesus said, I'm telling you what, folks, we have no impossibilities. You believe God. If your faith is not where it needs to be, you call me. Our partners call me. I will combine my faith with yours, and that will get it done for you. Because that's how we do it. That's called the prayer of agreement. Eli combined his faith with Hannah when she was too old to have a baby. She had six babies. That's what happens. I am out of time. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. Share this video with everybody you know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button on these. Amen. That helps our, our views too. Amen. That helps. Hit the like button. I love you so much, you people. More than you will ever, ever know.